Hi there, and welcome back to another video. So in the last video, I went over how to set up harvesters on remote and uh, multiple machines within the same network. And then in this video, I'm gonna show you how to plot on those machines as well, so that you can plot uh, on those machines and then farm from them as well. So we actually are gonna to go to the same uh, tutorial page or, or the wiki, and I'll post this into the description below. And we actually skip the step where it tells us how to do this. So this doesn't tell you exactly step by step, so I'll walk you through it. So the thing it tells you to do is on the remote machine, do the Chia command line plot to create, and then you're gonna to wanna to do the F uh, flag or parameter and get the farmer key. And so this farmer key is gonna be from your full node, and then you're also going to get the pool key from your full node. And I'll show you exactly how to do that. Um, it does say that you can import the keys, your private key from your full node into this, but this is, it does say that this is less, sec less secure. So I, I don't see any point in doing this if there's a way around it. And then of course you always wanna check your plots afterwards, which we'll do as well. So let's open up PowerShell. You can do this by hitting the Windows key and then searching for PowerShell. I actually already have a window open. Now I'll post this command in the description below, but basically we, we just need to get to the Chia command line tool and this is the path to it. So CD is just for change directory and it's taking us to the folder that we need to go to. So if I hit enter, uh, we'll be in the folder. Now yours will actually have the folder listed out right here. I have a different prompt, so that's why uh, it's different. Okay, so now we're gonna wanna run the Chia execu executable to get our keys. So we can do dot and then chia, hit tab to complete it. And at first let's just do a dash, a, dash H to get the help to see which commands that we have available to us. So for us, you know, we can see that these are the keys. So manage your keys. All right, cool. So let's type out keys and then let's do dash H again to see how we can get the keys that we need. Okay, so there's a show parameter. Uh, so it displays all the keys in the keychain. Well, I don't want to get all of my keys. I don't want to display my private key. So I'm going to do show and I'm going to pipe this. And again, I will copy and paste this into the description. I'm going to do select string so that I only select the keys that I want. Do a simple match. And then I want the farmer key. So farmer. And I also want the pool key. So pool. Okay, and I click enter. And here you can see that it posted or uh, outputted the, the two keys that I need. So I can copy and paste these into the command on the remote machine. Now, I blurred this out so you don't see it, but on yours, obviously you're gonna see a long string. All right, so let's go ahead and minimize that. And let's get to our remote machine. Now, you can go to your remote machine directly, you know, sit in front of it, open up the terminal, but I'm gonna use PuTTY uh, or a SSH. So it's gonna be the exact same thing, except I just have the command on this machine or the command prompt on this machine rather than rather than being at the uh, physically at the other machine. So I'm going to remote into it. So we're going to also want to have to get to the uh, command line tool on the Ubuntu. So this is an Ubuntu machine. Now I can show you how to do this again on a Windows machine, but I'm using Ubuntu right now. So you need to locate um, the Chia blockchain folder that you installed uh, when installing Chia on the system. Uh, if you need help installing Chia on the remote system, watch my Harvester video. So we're going to CD into that. So Chia blockchain. And let's do this. All right. So then we're going to activate it. So dot dot activate. All right. And then now what we're going to do is create plots. So Let's do uh, Chia and do plots. And let's do help to get all the commands that we need. So create, which we can see here, create. All right, so let's do create. And now let's do dash H again to get more help. All right, so here we can see that um, the F is the farmer public key, which we have and then the pool public key, all right? But you might wanna uh, use some other parameters. So for instance, if you wanna do a temp uh, directory for plotting files, the final directory is where the plot's gonna end up. We're gonna have to specify those. You know, if you wanna change 
the plot size, I would just stick with the default, um, the number of plots. Um, so the default's one, I'm probably gonna do two or three so that I can just let it run and forget about it. Um, then you're gonna do the number of threads, I would leave the bucket the same, and then you can ignore the rest of the parameters. So let's go ahead and type out exactly what we want. So we're gonna do Chia plots, if I can type, create, and then let's just first um, type out the number of plots that we want. So let's just do these in order. So n is for the number of plots. I want to do two. All right. And then number of threads, I'm going to do the default. I'm going to do the default number of buckets. And then let's type in our uh, farmer pool key. So let's do dash F. And let's go back to PowerShell. and then right click and paste that in. So now let's also put in our public pool key. So dash P, let me go grab the public pool key. Copy that, right click, paste it in. All right, so now let's choose our temporary directory and our final directory. So I'm gonna do dash T for temp, and I'm gonna do media, Mr. Pig, and then I'm actually, so O, Chia O, and then plotting. All right, and then the, for the final di directory, we're gonna have to specify that. So media, uh, Mr. Pig. And now this will all, obviously, you have to tailor this to where your drives are or where you want to do the temporary and then where you want to do the final destination. So this will vary. Um, for you. So I'm going to do K, Chia K, and then farm. And then you just hit enter and it should start farming. However, I do suggest, you know, outputting a log file. Okay, so what you want to do is do a pike character. So this is going to be shift and the backslash. So it's going to be a vertical line up and down. And then do T. And then now you're going to specify where you want the uh, log file to be placed. So I'm going to do, um, again, media, Mr. Pig, and then I'm going to put this also in the K drive. Um, and then let's do Chia K, and I'm just going to call this plot, um, and then dot log. And then you hit enter, and it should start plotting as, you know, these will be the, the file that you see whenever you're you're here and you want to do view log. So this is the same. Okay, so let's go ahead and just let this run and I'll come back when it's done plotting and then we'll do a check plot and then we'll also make sure that the harvester is now registering the plot and making sure that it is a valid plot that our full node can use. And then hopefully this video will give you confidence to do it yourself and that way you don't have to run the full node on the remote machine as I think some people are having issues with that. So let's wait, I don't know, seven hours because this is on a hard disk on this machine. So it's all I got. All right. I, okay, I, I did forget. I did want to show you all the plot file um, that we did or the log file. So when we did T log and then we put it in this directory. So this way I can check on it. You know, let's say I, I did this from the terminal physically at the computer. Well, I wouldn't be able to check on it right here. So I can look at it right here. Obviously, if I have this open, it won't update live. I think maybe Notepad++ might, but th this definitely doesn't. So you can look at it, you know, you have to close it. It won't block it writing to it uh, if you have it open, so don't worry about that. But in order to refresh, you have to close it and, th and then reopen it. All right, so let's wait for these plots to finish and then uh, we can check them and hopefully harvest from them. All right, it took some time, but we're finally done plotting the two plots on the remote machine. As you can see, both plots finished. Um, and then if we go to back to my Chia uh, farm page, you can actually... Okay, sorry about that. My recording stopped for some reason. So in order to check a plot, you just do Chia um, plots and then check. And you can do the dash G um, to kind of do like a, a filter of the plots you want to check. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. 
So I'm going to filter out um, just to select the last two plots that I did. So I'm going to do media, Mr. Pig, um, K, Chia K, and then farm. And then I'm going to paste in the, uh, the start of the plot with the 04, since these are the only plots I've done this month. And then I'm actually, I'm going to put this into quotes. I don't think there's any spaces, but if there is, then these quotes. So if you hit enter, um, it'll start checking the plots. Now it is going to come up with this warning. So it says warning, uh, two of the plots with the farmer and uh, pool public key does not match this machine. And that's to be expected because we did not add our private keys to this harvester, you know, because it is less secure. But we did see that it is showing up on our um, full node, so it is working, and so that that's why those plots have those warnings. But that's nothing to be alarmed about. If anything, that's a that's a good sign. Um, and then here we can see that both these plots are good: 36 out of 30, 31 out of 30, and these are valid, non-corrupted plots. So that's how you do this, and. It's a pretty basic uh, chia plotting. If you want me to show you how to do uh, chia plotting uh, parallel in the command line or, or anything else, just let me know and I'll make a video about it. All right, bye.